This Ram 1500 was stolen and abandoned right here because one of the suspension pieces has snapped and uh, we need to get it out of here. Guys, as you know, we just did a recovery for the Forest Service here in our backyard. Well, I need to get my phone. All right, so as I was saying, Forest Service is now on board with us doing recoveries here, which is awesome. Starting with, well, the car that we pulled out of the creek. And now this Ram 1500, which was stolen and abandoned right here because it broke the uh, spindle. I think the spindle or the upright or the A-arm, one of the suspension pieces has snapped. And this canyon is closed for the winter because you can see the snow starting to come. So we need to get up here and get this thing recovered like today or tomorrow because this snow that we're seeing right now, give it another three or four days, this truck will be buried and then it'll sit here all winter. And worse than that, It'll, if the, this winter is anything like last winter, this thing's gonna end up sitting here until June or July of next year. I'm here getting some pictures and ideas of what the condition is, what the roads look like, how deep the snow is, and it's an opportunity to fly the Muscles uh, brand new uh, A-Star, which is a really nice helicopter. It's like the most powerful light helicopter you can get, and it is a rocket ship. <laughs> ready for this recovery building one of our new off-road jacks but before i get too far into that i want to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video ag1 ag1 is a daily comprehensive nutritional drink that has all the vitamins and minerals that most of us are not getting in our diets and these are important things that make us feel better for me it's increased my focus better mood better energy better gut health overall i feel better when i drink this stuff so if i'm on the road or something um, i'll take these travel packs with me when i'm at home i've got a tub of it and i just take a scoop put it in a bottle, I gotta mix it up, right? And this stuff actually mixes pretty well. You guys know me and you know that I like to go a little bit overkill. What I'm gonna do is power shake my AG1. And when it pops off, that's usually a sure sign that it's done. See that beautiful mix? There's no clumps, nothing. It's so good. I swear mixing it that way, it just tastes better. It has 75 different vitamins, minerals, nutrients, superfoods, probiotics, prebiotics, all the stuff that you would have to take a bunch of other vitamins and you know supplements for, all comes right here. If I miss any of my other routine today, any of the other supplements or nutritional needs that I have, I can supplement it with this right here. One scoop, cold water, boom, my day is set. I've given this to all my friends and family. I literally drink this stuff one, two, maybe even sometimes three times a day. And I want you to try it out, so click the link in my description below. Go to their website, place an order. They're gonna give you five free travel packs plus a one-year supply of vitamin D3K2, absolutely free. And it's a very small investment for a very big, important thing, which is your overall health. So thank you, AG1, for sponsoring this video. And now let's go get this recovery done. Oops, don't forget that. <laughs> All right, my friends, we are, your lens is so dirty. As you saw yesterday, we flew up and looked at the truck that was at the top of the mountain. Got a good idea of what it needs. The passenger side front knuckle was completely snapped. That's gonna require us to tear apart the front suspension to be able to fix it and get it off the mountain. We could take like the Sisunasu or a tow truck up there and just drag it down as is. But before we do that, pretty sure we can fix it and then just drive it down itself. Cause driving down is gonna be way easier. We're just gonna fly all the tools and stuff up there 
if uh, for some reason it's not gonna wanna move or there's other issues, then we'll at least have the front suspension fixed so that we can tow it down without it wandering all over the road. So we've got this helicopter fully loaded. Every nook and cranny has got a tool or a part or a piece of equipment in it. It's gonna be a pretty heavy flight. Uh, we're landing at about 9,000 feet. This helicopter is rated like it's got a lot of power. It could probably do full people, full fuel and full gear and land at that altitude. But I wanna be within the parameters. For that, I'm only gonna take about 45 gallons of fuel. This burns about 40 gallons an hour. So that means I've got a little over an hour worth of fuel. I just wanna give a shout out to Keaton Hoskins, the muscle for letting us use his new helicopter. This thing is super sweet. And also shout out to local district rangers office of the forest service for reaching out and wanting to work with us on this and, and allowing us to get involved to help. So here we go. Too. Very impressive to be able to land a helicopter that's completely full of people and tools at 9,000 feet and still have. I was only using about 80% power, so I had a lot more left. All right, see this? That's the new piece. That's what we get to install today. Nothing like doing it in the elements. Break it free. Go oh, ahead. Hey. Come around here often. There's our problem. That is a uh, somebody was rallying this thing to break that knuckle like that. That is, that is not a. It's not something that breaks super easily. Unless you're really hot dogging it. definitely a lift knuckle which is why it broke ladies and gentlemen this is why you don't buy cheap lift kits right there this right here factory uh, knuckle as you can see machined and then you've got the aftermarket lift knuckle which in order to achieve the lift on the truck they literally just make the knuckle taller which um, is not ideal because when you make it taller that puts more leverage on the knuckle and when you get more leverage you get that that's 100% what happened. That thing snapped because it was an aftermarket uh, knuckle. You wanna fly it down and have them weld it? Not gonna work because it'll require us to compress that suspension too much. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to weld that. Oh, this welding cast is not ideal, but I think we can do it. Yeah, let's do that. We got the wrong piece. We gotta go down and fix the piece we've got. Um, Just go weld that. So I think I may have found part of the problem. These people were, uh, they were all hopped up on rays. THC infused lemonade, 100 milligrams of THC in this little 
shot right here. Plus, I, this looks like a uh, lottery ticket to me. Oh yeah, they were super bummed out because they got the dumbest lottery ticket you can get, which is the crossword puzzles, which are actually not fun at all. I'm gonna fly back to the shop and fix that knuckle. What you guys are about to see is a 1000% trail fix. We do not condone the welding of knuckles and spindles like this because that's a critical part that you don't wanna have break. Uh, let's tidy up a little bit. back to the shop and welded it and then plated it and reinforced it and it's definitely stronger than it ever was before the thing about this kind of material is it's cast iron cast iron is not ideal to weld because it's super porous and so you have to preheat it to be able to get the heat to penetrate through all the cast material so they did that it's not cast iron this it's cast steel cast it's steel. a really low grade cast steel very soft isn't and cast iron and cast steel the same thing? No, cast iron is different. It's cast steel. <laughs> Anyways, we welded it, fixed it, put it back together. But in the meantime, we also found the correct part for the lift kit. Four wheel parts actually had it. It's not the same lift kit because we don't know what lift kit's on here. I'm going to put this one on just because the geometry, the hole on this one is different. You see that? It's way out. Yeah. So we're going to put the fixed piece back on just to be safe. There's that box of hardware. That was inconvenient. Uh, we got her fixed, which means it's time to celebrate. And we found this emergency flare sitting on the ground here. Looks like the people didn't quite need it. They're gonna see what this bad boy does. You guys ready? Any second now. Another one. Any second now. Don't put that in the cab with me on the way home. That would be a real bummer for somebody. I'm gonna take it as a good sign because that's uh, the universe saying, oh, you don't need that flare. I think we found the culprit of what actually caused the damage. Right there is a giant boulder on the side of the trail. It's one of those ones that kind of just leans out into the trail. That's definitely what broke that A-arm. They were probably mobbing down this road pretty quick. Boom, hit that. And uh, surprisingly, didn't blow the tire out, but that's, I'm pretty confident that's what broke it. Truck's driving great though. Everything's working perfect. Four wheel drive works, which I'm really glad it does because I wasn't sure if it would. Dave and a couple guys are gonna load in this. We're gonna jump in the helicopter and then uh, we'll get some cool shots of it driving down the mountain. It's about a 15 mile drive to the bottom of the canyon right now. And about half of that is gonna be in snow. Believe it or not, there's less snow right here on top than there is on the back side here, simply because the wind blows it over there and it starts to drift and then the sun doesn't get there. So. Uh, that'll be the deepest spot. In fact, Diesel Dave's gonna have to face his fear and drive right past the area where he slid off in the snowcat and rolled off the cliff and almost died. So that's, uh, if you haven't seen that video, guys, it's pretty wild. If you wanna see me and Diesel Dave cry like a couple of babies, watch that video, because it's a tearjerker. And uh, link it right here for you. But with that said, I think we're ready to rock and roll. So now we've got to get it off the mountain safely. Mm -hmm. 